Okay, so in this set of videos, I'm going to do a quick introduction to all the different sorts of things in the solar system before we go back and investigate some of them in more detail. Yep. But before we go into our census of the solar system, we should really talk about how we know things about it. Yeah, I mean, because it's kind of fundamental, right? It's, it's not just that we've been able to send probes there. We've known sizes and masses of these planets or objects for, for quite a long time now. That's right. So when we tell you how much something weighs or how big it is, we've got to explain where we get that from. Yes. So size is relatively simple. What we do is we take a picture of it and we measure the angle to the top and the angle to the bottom. We normally do this with a telescope. We can either point the telescope at the top, point at the bottom and measure how much we had to move it. Yep. Or we take a picture with both the top and the bottom and then we understand the telescope optics to work out how many pixels corresponds to a particular angle. Yep. And then if we know the distance, which we talked about earlier, then we can use this to work out its size. Its size. So that's how big it is. In terms of mass, it's a bit trickier. That's right. The best way we've got to measuring how heavy something is is if it's got something orbiting it. Okay. So here we've got Jupiter. This is a, a time-lapse approach movie from the Juno spacecraft. And you can see the Galilean satellites yep. uh, orbiting around Jupiter. So we can use those four big moons to understand yep. it's Jupiter's mass? Yeah, so basically if something is going in a circle around it, we can measure how fast they're going because we can see that. We can therefore work out how much mass there must be in the planet to be able to hold them in their orbits. Okay. If, it weighed too light, if, if its weight was too light, they'd just fly out. So we can balance the centrifugal force against gravity and work out how heavy these things are. Okay. And that works for anything which has a moon. Is there anything that doesn't have a moon that this was tricky uh, with? Yes, Mercury and Venus don't have moons. Okay. Nowadays we can do it by making an artificial moon like a space probe and seeing how much its orbit gets bent as it goes True. around. And that gives us a really accurate mass. But also the planets pull on the other planets very slightly. Ah. And this causes slight departures from their elliptical orbits. And this actually allows us to work out um, the masses mm. of the planets. Okay. So we actually can work out the mass of the planets fairly accurately. All right. So we can figure out pretty easily with pretty straightforward techniques how far away they are and it's pretty clear to weigh, weigh these planets and weigh these objects. That's right, so we can get the orbit, the size and the mass. Okay, so let's take these new tools for a tour, shall All we? Right.